Leia, and welcome to our course on reconstructing popular iOS controls. Have you ever had that moment when you were using an app and everything you did and touched just felt right? The app looked sleek and fresh, the UI and all the interactions made sense, they were smooth, and the app as a whole was just a joy to use. And you went away from that just itching to make that same thing happen in your own app. So you go and you fiddle around a little, but you don't quite know how, or you just don't have the time to learn everything, or it didn't end up looking quite so cool. So you put it on the back burner of all the stuff you could do eventually. Well, you're in luck. In this course, we're going to reproduce some of the coolest iOS controls out there. Apple is well known for their attention to detail and high design and usability standards. It's what drew me to iOS development in the first place. A good animation or transition can really make your app feel magical. And it's this opportunity to continuously evolve and iterate on the design for iOS application that help people with their day-to-day -day lives that keeps me coming back for more. Normally, at rayvanderlick.com, we do videos and tutorials on specific topics. And while those are great to get into the nitty gritty, Sometimes, when you're working on a real app, you can get stuck figuring out how to bring all of these different skills together. But it's exactly when you can combine these different bits of knowledge that those skills really shine. So in this video course, we'll learn how to use our existing iOS and Swift knowledge to recreate some really cool apps. We'll start by looking at two very popular and well-designed iOS apps and try to recreate the most interesting parts ourselves. Then, because Apple sets the standard in iOS design, we'll take a look at how to reproduce some of the cool presentations and transitions that they've come up with. In section one, we're starting off with Snapchat. First, we'll learn how to build this scrolling navigation between the chat, camera, and discover screens. Then, we'll take a look at how to build the lenses control that lets you select what type of filter to apply to your face. In section two, we'll talk about Robinhood, the 2015 Apple Design Award winner. We'll reconstruct the entire dashboard from the ground up, the newsfeed, the graph, and the ticker control. In our final section, we'll talk about two quintessential Apple apps, the App Store and Maps. Now, there's a few iOS topics you should be familiar with to get the most out of this course. First, you should have a basic or intermediate knowledge of Swift. And second, you should be fairly familiar with UIKit, specifically UI views, UI view controllers, UI table views, and UI collection views. Now, if you're not familiar with these, do not fret. We have videos on pretty much all of those topics. So if you're feeling a little rusty, maybe check those out first and come back here later. Before we dive in, I'd like to thank Katie and Jesse Catterwall for their help on preparing this course. Caroline Begby for her 2017 RWDEFCON talk on popular iOS animation that helped provide the original code base for the Snapchat app. And finally, Jorge Ramos Mukel for his tech edit. Let's dive right in.